There are, however, some advantages to being a bystander. Can anyone think of what that might be? Any ideas? They don't take any risks. They always show up what they're doing because they've not done it before. They always know what they're doing because someone's done it before them, right? Safe zone. Safe zone. All right. Good choice. There we go. You can do it better next time. You can do it better next time if you do it. Most bystanders just watch and then let someone else do it. And maybe if it's safe enough, they'll do it too. Problem with this is that it leads nowhere. I noticed a couple of people in the audience when things like safe zone and stuff like saying going, huh, that's boring. These are the people who like to push their comfort zones, who like to do what's kind of hard, what's kind of scary, but they do it anyway. Being a bystander gives you the advantage of observing others. Some of you guys I know like to go out and meet women. If you do that and you're a bystander, then you can stand by the wall, you can watch, you can figure out which girl is there with their boyfriend, which girl is single, which girl is bored, which one is having fun, who knows who, and all this stuff, and you get excellent target selection, as they call it. And you can kind of go, okay, so that one over there is not here with her boyfriend, she's here with two girlfriends, and she's bored, so she would be easy to entertain. And then they'll go over, maybe. The problem is that the longer you watch, the more excuses you make not to go over. The more excuses you have not to do what you want to do. Because as a bystander, you don't only notice what you can do, but you notice what everyone else fails at, and you're afraid to try it. You want to start your own company, and you're in bystander mode, you'll observe other companies, and you'll notice all the companies that fail, and you'll go, okay, that sounds scary. I don't want to go bankrupt. And you'll not do it. So what about the participant? What kind of advantages do you get if you're a participant? Anyone? You learn how to push yourself and grow. Learn how to push yourself, expand your comfort zone. More? Live out your dreams. Live out your dreams. Anyone else? You can be the first one to do something, first one to achieve something, like Roger Bannister. More fun. More fun, definitely. Wow, there's a lot of guys here. I like this. Anything you do actually sticks much better if you just listen. Anything, uh, most of the stuff you won't, won't retain. It'll just go in and out. But if you actually do it, you're going to remember it afterwards. Exactly. Your learning is more permanent. You can decide your own life. Decide your own life. Decide what it's going to look like. Exactly. There's tons of advantages of being a participant. The only disadvantage is that you have to push your comfort zone. You have to get out there and do stuff. You can't sit on your ass and wait for someone to come give you what you want. You have to go get it yourself. You have to be the mountain lion who chases down the rabbit instead of sitting behind a rock waiting for someone else to kill it so you can have the leftovers. 